Today we're going to review Ruvox MX361EX setup instructions. So you've received your machine. I'm just going to point out some of the key features of this machine. So this is a 12 gallon immersion tank. And as you'll see here right in the front, we have a sight glass window that's going to allow you to indicate when the tank is operating properly and maybe when there's a buildup of material in it. We have a secondary sight glass. This tells you where your liquid level is going to be. Over here, we have a inlet. This is where you're going to connect your hose. So your system came with a stainless steel connector. You're going to button lock that in and you're going to attach your hose to this. So that's where your hose goes and your accessories go. You have a secondary source of bonding. We have two options. Either you have a manual alligator clamp or we also have a retractable grounding reel. Your system will not have both. It'll have one or the other, whichever one you chose, but both of these are used to bond the machine to the device you're vacuuming from. Your sight glass here is gonna tell you at what level the unit needs to be filled to. Here in the back, we have your motor. Either yours came with a certified explosion proof motor or a TEFC motor with a switch, with a turn style switch or a push button switch, one of the two. So that's how you're gonna control it on and off. Here we have Ruvox exclusive max flow turbine with a diffuser bag. This diffuser bag is going to discharge the air so you don't feel a stream of air out the uh, discharge. That is going to be the back end here. Other key features in the back end here is you have hydrophobic filters here as well as a degassing valve. So this is your secondary filtration system that protects the motors. 30 foot power cord, you're gonna put the appropriate cord cap on it for your atmosphere and you're gonna make sure that that is a groundable plug. That's been an overview of Rubox MX360 designed for the safe handling of Group E metals.